Someone wrote in and said, you know that you're great because you were created in Hashem's image. But when you make a mistake, are you not lowering your greatness? Aren't you less? Or does your greatness not change regardless of what you do? You're just as great if you're Hitler or if you're Mother Teresa. It doesn't really make a difference what you do. You're just as great. Is that the case? Or do you actually make yourself less great? Now, fantastic question. When I, when I stood back and thought about the question, I realized it's a, it's a classic American culture question. It's the, it's the question that would occur to anybody who grew up in America. And the reason is because America is such a harsh environment. It's such a perfectionist environment. There's, the standards are so insanely high that no one feels like they're succeeding. Okay. When, you, when you move from that culture into the world of Torah, you think differently. In the Torah, everyone makes mistakes. Abraham made mistakes. Moses made mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. And that's, that's part of the process of becoming a great person. If you don't make mistakes, you're not becoming as great as you could be. Th that sounds controversial, but you know, there were four, there were four tzaddikim gemurim. There were four people who never sinned ever in their life. And those four, none of them were as great as people who sinned. An example, Yishai, King David's father, was a tzaddik amur. He never sinned. King David sinned. King David ended up being far, far greater than Yishai, his father, who never sinned. And it's true across the board. What we find is that people who err through that process of recognizing their error and correcting the mistake end up becoming bigger. In other words, we don't become small with mistakes. It's just a stage in the process of becoming a giant. Now, of course, if, if someone only makes mistakes and never grows from them, then his or her greatness is going to remain in potential. They're only going to be a potential great person. They're not going to be great. They won't realize their greatness and they won't become all they could be. But we should never get depressed or give up when we err. We have to remember the movie isn't over and that error is just a precursor for what's about to happen, which is that this time you're going to get it right. And then you'll be bigger than you ever were before the mistake. Like the Gemara, in, there, there's, a, there's a Talmudic passage in Tractate Brachos, page 34b, the, a very, very famous, it says, Makom Shabali Chuva Omdim Ein Sadikim Gemurim Omdim. The place where a person who erred and corrected his mistake stands is such a high place that a person who never sinned can't get there. So when you make a mistake, does that make you smaller? No. If you make a mistake and you don't learn from it, then that leaves you in a state of unrealized potential. But if you make a mistake and you learn from your mistake, and you get better, then that mistake was part of a much larger process of becoming big. I'll give you a metaphor for this. When, it, when, when I get a cut, if, if uh, uh, I, 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 I accidentally uh, I draw a piece of paper, a sharp edge of paper across my hand, and I, I cause a paper cut, so immediately it starts to bleed. And you all know that the blood contains a clotting factor, platelets, and the and the, the platelets uh, form a scab, which is actually a bandage, which seals over the damaged tissue and protects it so that the cells underneath that can then rebuild the damaged tissue. Now the bandaging, the sealing of the wound with this bandage is obviously part of the healing process. So when you see the scab forming, that's part of the healing process. But what caused the scab to form? Releasing the blood in the capillaries. So the releasing the blood in the capillaries is really the beginning of the healing process. But the way that you release the blood in the capillaries is through the incision, which means the incision, which is the wound, is the beginning of the healing process. So where do you separate and say that the wound ends and the healing begins? It's all one process. The exact same thing is true about error. Error is like the incision. Error is the beginning of the process of becoming great. So when I, when I fail, when I make a mistake, when I do something dumb, when I stick my foot in my mouth, that doesn't make me less in God's eyes. I'm on the road to becoming great. I would only remain with unrealized potential if I made mistake after mistake after mistake and ever learned from them. I hope you enjoyed this. You can access many more hours of free, eye-opening content from Rabbi Kellerman at lawrencekellerman.com, L-A-W-R-E-N-C-E-K-E-L-E-M-E-N.com.